Hey guys, what is going on today? Bojo here, and we are back for our NHL 16 and be a GM following the Philadelphia Flyers as we are going to be starting round two of the year three playoffs up against the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Battle of Pennsylvania rematch from the year number one playoffs. So we got through the Carolina Hurricanes in the first round, it took six games to get that done, but we did manage to get through it. Steve Mason posting, posting two shutouts in that series as well as two overtime game winners from the third line with uh, Ivan Provorov and Matt Reed. And uh, we're going up against the Pittsburgh Penguins here, the Philadelphia Lehigh Valley Phantoms, because that's their new name. Unfortunately, we're out of the playoffs in round number one to the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, so Pittsburgh's AHL team knocked us out in the first round. Uh, so the Phantoms will not be repeating as Calder Cup champs, but we're going to see if we can get some revenge for the Phantoms this time around as we're taking on Pittsburgh. All right, so let's go take a look at this Pittsburgh Penguins team three years in, and let's see what they're all about. All right, let's check out what this team has going for themselves right to now. All right, so Nick Bonino at an 84 is their leading point total scorer. Patrick Hornquist at an 87. 87, right? Yeah. Phil Kessel, 89. Evgeny Malkin, 92. Eric Fair, 82. Bo Bennett, 83. Sidney Crosby, 97. Only with three points so far, so... It's, that's kind of good. Uh, Colton Skeever, or Skyver, however the hell you say his name, 83. Chris Kunitz, 84. Scott Wilson, 82. Chris Higgins, 81. Colin McDonald, uh-oh, the former Lehigh Valley Phantom, 82. All right, so Colin McDonald's on their team now. So they must have picked him up in free agency. Defenseman, they got Olimata, 89. Damn. Uh, Derek Puglia, 89. Damn. Chris Letang, 91. Shit. Adam Clendenning, 84, Brian DeMolin, uh, 79, and Ian Cole, 82. Holy shit. Mata, Pouliot, and Latang. Friggin' Mata and Pouliot are still getting better, too. That's insane. All right, so, yeah, they got three really good defensemen. Clendenning, DeMolin, and, uh, or DeMolin, I guess that's how you say his name. They're decent bottom, bottom three. And then goaltending, Mark andre Fleury at N90 overall. Okay, so they have the edge in defense. They have the edge in goaltending. And I would say they have the edge in offense as well. Offense might be evenly matched, even though, well, not really. They have a 97 and a 92. And a Phil Kessel as well. So I definitely think Pittsburgh does have the better edge of the Flyers in this series. But you know what? Last year might have been the, the first year we faced these guys. It was, it was kind of a fluke. Fluke win. It was kind of a fluke win that the Flyers, uh, the the Pittsburgh had in year number one when we played this guys. It was a fluke win. That's you know Pittsburgh never beats Philadelphia when it comes to the playoffs. So this time this team is much hungrier this time around. I think the Flyers definitely want to revenge over this Pittsburgh team without a doubt. They do have home ice advantage as you guys do know. Let's see if we can get it done here in Pittsburgh round number two. Let's go boys. Let's change history unlike year number one. First period. That's a good start. Claude Drew on Marc Andre Fleury, 12, 12, uh, eight minutes into the period. So eight shots to ten. One nothing lead for the Flyers. That's what I like to see. Second period, two to nothing. I like that again. Claude Drew almost the exact same time. Pretty much almost the exact same time. Like 20 seconds uh earlier. Claude Drew not not two for the Flyers so far in this game. Up two to nothing. So the captain is putting the team on his back in this game here. Alright, so third period here. Come on, boys. Let's hold it down. If Genny Malkin does get one back to make it 2-1, to one, Flyers still holding on to a one-goal lead here in the third period. 20 shots to 24. Come on, play some defense there, boys. I know the Rooks are doing the good job. The go There you go. Ivan Provorov, speak of the Rooks, and you shall receive. Ivan Provorov right there in the slot. Probably a big slapper right there on Marc-Andre Fleury. And Steve Mason's only going to let that one third period goal to Evgeny Malkin. And the Flyers will hold on for a 3-1 to one win over Pittsburgh with Claude Giroux nodding two goals in this game very nicely done so let's go i forgot to take a look at the goal summaries in the first game but we shall do so in this time so claude drew from tj oshi and jacob Vorchek on both occasions and then ivan Provorov from sam gagne and matt reed man that third defensive core likes to work with that third line a hell of a lot when i'm seeing every time like Provorov or somebody like that is getting a goal that's pretty nice up oh, my yep yep i knew i was getting booster mode i knew i was getting booster mode hold on i'll wait this thing out until we were actually done with turbo mode this is gonna take a while okay so turbo mode is over that's always nice don't want to be activating turbo mode that's for damn sure 
But all right, so the Flyers walk away with a 3-1 to one victory in game number one. We already did our job to split the series at the very least. Uh, there is a player meeting. I don't know who who wants to have a player meeting. Uh, Ivan Prover wants to have a player meeting. All right. I need to be out on the ice more. I can't help the team when I'm not getting minutes. He does have a point. He has been getting a couple goals as of recently. So, Ivan, let's see. Uh, I see the point you're making. I'll consider making some changes, Ivan. Positive effect. Should we move Pravarov up in the lineup? Maybe get him some more playing time? But he's, but he's working well with Luke Shen, I would guess. Maybe he doesn't like working with Luke Shen, but then who I move down? Do I move Ghost down? Ghost doesn't really seem to be putting uh, many points on the board. Pravarov is in 94. Ooh, he's a top four D-man. That's why his uh, his uh, his role changed. So you know what? Maybe we should. Ag is still top four. Delzado's still top six. Sandheim's top four. You know what? Let's do it. Ivan, let's get you out there, man. You're, so you're putting in, you're putting the puck in a little bit more often. So you know what? I'm gonna give you the chance. I'm gonna move Ghost down because he hasn't been scoring that many goals, and uh, I'll move Pravro up. He's starting to score some goals. I'll let him work with uh, Robert Hag out there. Let's let's give him some more playing time. Let us give Ivan some more playing time. Uh, that's basically all I'm gonna give him, though. I'm just gonna give him some more five on five time, and. Uh, I think he should be very satisfied with that. All right, so we'll move Pravarov up into the lineup. We'll move Ghost down to work with Luke Shen. And uh, let's see how that pays off for us. Pravarov wants some more playing time? You got it, kid. I'll give it to you. All right, so here we go. Got a one uh, one yeah, one nothing series lead over Pittsburgh. Let's get it done here. Let's take a 2 nothing series lead over this team. First period of game number two. 2 to nothing. I like that a lot. Scott Lawton and Claude Giroux. So once again, that third line coming in clutch. But Claude Giroux, again, Three goals in two games against the Pittsburgh Penguins. That is what I like to see. The captain putting the team, showing it how it is done. He's leading this Flyers team so far right now in this series. He was not really, he was, he was not scoring many points in that Carolina series, but he looks to be scoring a lot of goals right now, and I like it. 12 shots to 9-2, two, two goal lead. Second period, all right, they get one back. Chris Letang expected their defenseman to definitely get some goals in this series. So 21 shots to 17, got another one goal lead going into the third period. Would like an insurance marker. Would like one more to get a three uh, to get that two goal lead back. But if we play some stellar defense, I will not mind that either. All right, 10 minutes to go. Halfway point done. Nice job, defense. Keep it going, boys. Ah, they tie it up, Phil Kessel. Phil freaking Kessel ties this game up with about five minutes left to go or seven minutes left to go in the game. And unfortunately, Pittsburgh will push it to an overtime. So 32 shots to 23. We are out playing Pittsburgh in this game. But we are going to go to overtime here in game number two. Power play early for the Flyers. Ah, uh, they couldn't get it done. Ah, and s fucking Crosby. God damn it. Sidney Crosby gets the goal. Game winner in OT. Two goal lead, and we blow it. Lawton from Delzato and Gagne. Giroux from Voracek, but then Latang from Farron Benino. Kessel from Crosby. Crosby from Bennett and Pouliot. All right. We didn't want that. <clears throat> Did not want that. So, once again, I'm not. I'm fine with it though. We split the series. That uh, we did what we needed to do. We did what we needed to do. We did what we needed to do. We went into Pittsburgh. We stole one game, and that's all that it matters. All that matters. So now we can go ahead and take home ice under our grasp right now. All right. So game number three, tied series up at one apiece. Home ice is now in the Flyers' court, and the first shot of the game by Skeever. And he gets it on Steve Mason. one nothing lead for the Penguins. All right, come on, boys. You got to fight back from this. First period, 2 to nothing. Skeever with two. Jesus, man. Uh, that's not good. 14 shots to six. Come on, Stevie May. I don't know what you're doing out there, bud. It's not a good start to this game. Second period, we need some, we need some firepower back. Second period, <sighs> Jesus, Higgins. 22 shots to 17. They came back in shots as well. Ugh. All right, let's give the Flyers a chance, I guess. Three and nothing lead for Pittsburgh in this game, though. Was not expecting this coming back home. Was not expecting this coming back home. Four to nothing. Jesus, man. Mason is having one of those games. So they get one back, Luke Shen. So they take away the shutout from Flurry. But Mason seems to be having at least one game per series where he's letting up a lot of goals. So Pittsburgh's going to walk away with a four to one win here in game number three. But, uh,. That was not a good game from the start. Two goals there from like their depth player and Skeever. That was not not great whatsoever. All right, so we got to hold a team meeting here. Down two games to one against Pittsburgh. All right, come on, boys. We need to uh, we need to play smart, avoid costly mistakes. We can pull this out. Just keep doing it because you know what? Why not? 
All right, come on, boys. Ever since we moved Provorov up, we've lost both of those games. So if we lose this one, we might have to move him back down again, even though he wants more playing time. He hasn't been clutching in on those goals, but here we go. We need this win here. This is a must-win game for us, actually. Must-win game. Come on. Stevie May, you need to pick your ass back up here. If you let up another, like, four or five goal game, I'm going to consider putting Neuwirth in. But come on, boys. Let's go. Give your goaltender some support. First period here, one-to-one. -one. All right. TJ Oshie gets the scoring start, but then Scott Wilson ties this game back up at one. Eight, 13 shots to eight. All right. Second period, two-to-one. There you go. Braden Shen. I like that weird angle, but I'll take it. 21 shots to 22. One goal lead once again going into this third period, boys. Come on. We need some more insurance markers, but once again, Bo Bennett from center ice. Oh, my God, Steve Mason. What are you doing out there, bud? Jesus, man. He's sleeping. He's sleeping out there. All right. Come on. Uh, power play. Kill that off, please, please. Thank God. Nice penalty kill there, boys. Two minutes. We go into overtime. Uh, yes, we are going to overtime. 29 shots apiece. Tie score again. Come on, boys. We need this win here. This is a must-win game for us. This is a must-win game for us. Ah, don't take a pow penalty. Thank God they killed that off again. And there you go. Sean Couturier. Leave it up to Coots. Right there in the slot. The hash marks. Probably just threw that right there on net. And the Flyers do come out with another overtime victory. 3-2 to two over the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nicely done. So, Penguins won the last overtime game. But Sean Couturier had something to say about this game. As they win 3-2. to two. So TJ Oshie from Voracek and Giroux. Shen from Sanheim and Couturier. And then Couturier from Matt Reed and Braden Shen. So Braden Shen and Sean Couturier with two points apiece. For, uh, Giroux and Voracek getting more points as well. And the Flyers do indeed tie this game, this series back up at two games apiece. Sean Couturier lost morale for individual performance. You just got the overtime winner. Why would that lose you morale? I don't understand. Whatever. All right, so the series is tied at two. Pittsburgh does have home ice advantage with two games in Pittsburgh. If it need be, go to a game seven. But all right, we did win that game again, so we'll keep Provorov up there on the uh, second pair. But once again, three-game series now, boys. Every game counts. Let's go. We need some goal scoring here. We need some goal scoring. That's what we really need. We need to just blow the scoring door wide open. Here we go. First period, one nothing. I'll take that. Matt Reed, I will take it. Matt Reed, I will definitely take it. All right, second period. One to one, they tie it back up. And Nick Benino, 24 shots to 16. So we are out shooting them yet again. Tie game going into the third period. Come on, boys. We need some top line goal scoring here. Here, there are some depth scoring again. Matt Reed got us one in this game. Come on. Somebody depth. Ugh. Gino. Gino, Gino. Come on, boys. There you go. Robert Hag, leave it up to the rookie D Ven. Tie this game back up at two. My super sweet, but Eric Fair. What are you doing, man? Mace, you can't be letting up these two third period goals like that, man. <sighs> Pittsburgh is going to take the 4-2 to win in game number five. Take a 3-2 to two series lead. This is not good, boys. This is not good. Not good at all. Got to hold this team meeting here. Our goal scoring has just been like up and down in this series. Like some games will just scum, some games will just really score goals, and then some games we just will not score goals. I do not want to be knocked out by Pittsburgh again. The second time we entered in the playoffs, I'm gonna leave Mason in there, man. I'm gonna leave him in as much as I want to play Neuvert this game. I'm gonna leave him in. I'm not gonna make any changes either. This is it, boys. Game six. You're at home. Winner go, winner, winner go out, winner leave. Here we go. First period, nothing to nothing. 14 shots to eight. Well, all right, at least it's tied. Second period, two to two. All right, crazy period. Jacob Voracek starts out the scoring, but then Nick Benino ties it shortly after. Then finally, a depth goal, Marcus Kruger, but then Derek Pouliot answers right back. So it's a two to two game, 25 shots to 18. Tie game once again going into the third period here. Come on, boys. We need an early goal and then just hold it down defensively. Power play. We need to capitalize on the power play. There you go. Jacob Voracek. 3-2 lead for the Flyers here. What about 10 minutes left to go? Mason, I need you here, man. I need 10 solid minutes out of you right now. I need 10 solid minutes out of you right now. There you go. Another depth goal. Brandon McMillan gives us that two-goal insurance marker. 
And we're going to a game center in the Console Energy Center as the Flyers do win 4-2 to two over the Penguins to push a game 7. All right. So, Voracek from Giroud and Delzado. Kruger from Oshie. Voracek from Couturier and Simmons. McMillan from Ryan White and Delzado. All right. So, there you go. Pushed it to a game 7 between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Philadelphia Flyers. So, we are going to have a game 7 in the Console Energy Center. Hold the team meeting. As we're going to have that game seven. Tonight is make or break for us. We lose and we're done. However, we have it in us to come back in this series. Once again, just don't get flustered because it's working every single time. We'll just continue to do it. Why not? All right. Here we go, boys. Game seven against the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's the high power offense and the apparently high power defense and pretty good goaltending of the, of the Pittsburgh Penguins against the kind of vets and the olds. The old guys who have been here for a while for the Philadelphia Flyers and this rookie decor. Can this rookie decor hopefully hold on? Can Steve Mason hold on in game number seven to help the Flyers move on to the Eastern Conference Finals? There we go. Game seven in Pittsburgh. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Times eight simulation the entire game. And there you go. First shot of the game or third shot of the game. Matt Reed gets us off to a one to nothing lead early on in the game. That's why I like to see, boys. We need to have these goals. Scoring out early. Power play for Pittsburgh. Nice penalty kill. Power play for us. All right. Once again, they kill both off. All right. Get out of the first period with the lead. Get out of the first period with the lead. Come on. Hold on, boys. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Whoops. I hit play again. Whoops. Oh, five on three. That's not good. Five on four. Kill it off. Kill it off. Oh, good penalty kill there, boys. I didn't mean to play it again, but thank God they held on for that lead. All right. Keep holding on. Ah, Patrick Hornquist does tie the game up at one. We saw it coming eventually. Power play, though. Can't capitalize. Oh, Christ. Are we going into the third period tied at one? Uh, <laughs> going into the third period tied at one. Shots are 19 to 20. Pittsburgh has one shot ahead. Tie game in the third period. Come on, boys. I need full out. Uh, Giroux, I need, I need you, man. I need you to just go absolutely ham. You, you've had some goals being scored early on in this series for the first two games, but then pretty much you've been non-existent, basically. You've gotten a couple assists here and there, but I need the captain to pretty much just show up here in Game 7 and lead his team to victory. And I need this rookie defense to just do the best they can. And Steve Mason, I need 20 solid minutes out of you, man. Here we go. Third period in Pittsburgh. I need a solid, solid period from this team. Power play. Come on, capitalize on that power play. There we go. Braden Shen capitalizes on it. 15 minutes to go. 2-1 to one lead for the Flyers. Come on. Come on. Hold it down, boys. Just hold it down. I need 10 solid minutes out of you. Oh, power play. Kill it off. Kill it off. Kill it off. Kill it off. Oh, my God. That's a really long one. Yes, they kill it off. Hold it. Hold it. A minute 36. Yeah. Empty netter for Robert Hag. And the Flyers come out with a Game 7 victory over the Pittsburgh Penguins. 3-1. That clutch power play goal from Braden Shen and the empty netter from Robert Hag or Robert Hag, however the hell it's pronounced, but whew, come LA with a game seven victory over the Pittsburgh Penguins and your Flyers go into the Eastern Conference Finals. Yes, siree. Well, wow, what a game. Thank you. Mason, I give you that third period, man. Props to you. Way to hold it down that third period. Matt Reed from Sam Gagne and Scott Lawton. Hornquist from Crosby, but then Braden Shem from Sean Couturier and Michael Delzado on the power play, I'm only assuming. And then Robert Hag from Ivan Provorov and Marcus Kruger to get the empty netter to win this game, win this series. 4-3, to 3-1 three, three to one in a Game 7 victory. And that's how we do it, boys. What a game. What a Game 7. That is exactly how you do it. Nice job, boys. Yes, that series is in the rear room here. We face adversity and triumph. There we go. Exactly. We face diversity and triumph with flying colors. That's what we need to do, boys. Wow, we beat Pittsburgh. We beat the President's Trophy winning team, and now we are off to the Eastern Conference Finals up against the Buffalo Sabres. Wow. So now we got to go up against like the two of the top point getters in the league this year in Sam Reinhart and Evander Kane. So that's going to be interesting. No Jack Eichel, though, because I did not put him into this game. So. That's one thing that we definitely have to uh, that we have going for us. So let's check out the player stats for that series. Seven games against Pittsburgh, and uh, we'll have to see who stepped up big time for us in that series. All right, so Jacob Voracek, six goals and five assists, 11 points in 13 games. Claude Drew, he had a good start to the series, but then kind of fell off afterwards. Still nine points in 13. TJ Oshie with nine. Sean Couturier with eight. That big clutch goal there. Well, not the clutch goal. Um, 
Braden Shen got the clutch goal, that power play goal, to give us that pretty much the game winner. Seven points for him. Matt Reed had a pretty good series, six points. Wayne Simmons with six. Kerr has four points, not bad. Sam Gagne with four. Scott Lawton with four. Brandon McMillan with two. And Ryan White with one. All right. And then defense, we got Michael Delzato with six assists. Ivan Provorov with five points, so he's making a case for himself. Ghost with three, Robert Hag with two, Luke Shen with two, and Sandheim with one. And then goaltenders, Steve Mason, 13 games played, 2.16, 8-4, .4, save percentage of .925, and two shutouts still for Stevie May. So he had a little bit of a sketch, couple sketchy games in that Pittsburgh series, but you know what? He shut it down in that game in that game seven so i will definitely take it so in the west colorado beat san jose in six and la beat edmonton in seven we beat pittsburgh in seven and buffalo beat tampa bay in five so they've been waiting for us so here are the conference matchups in the wet in the west you got the colorado avalanche up against the los angeles kings and in the east you have the buffalo sabers up against the philadelphia flyers so uh i don't think we have we do not have home ice advantage in th this series i think uh, or do we? Actually, we have the exact same record. Yeah, we have the exact same record. 51, 24, and 7. 50, 23, and 9. Probably because Buffalo has less regulation losses. That's probably the reason they're going to... Um... But we have more regulation wins. Let's see. Uh, is Buffalo... Do we have home ice? No, they, they have uh, home ice. That's weird. I don't know how they determine that. I guess Buffalo is the first seed in their, in their uh, divisions. That makes sense. They're probably a one seed or a two seed, so... That makes more sense. But all right, we got by the freaking Pittsburgh Penguins in seven games. Crazy series that was, but now we got to go up against the high power Buffalo Sabres. Who would have thought I would have ever been saying that? But three years down the line, Buffalo is a very good team. 50 wins on the year, same exact point total as us. But uh, we got to go up against Sam Reinhardt and Evander Kane, who tore it up this season. So. Eastern Conference, Eastern Conference Finals are coming up next, boys. Let's see if the Flyers can make it to that Stanley Cup. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe as always. We'll see you guys next time.